News 46 is brought to you by Bees Embroidery and Garment Printing, specializing in custom and personalized decoration of gifts, garments, and more. Call 775-727-9444. is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a car crashes and rolls on the north end of town. We speak to VEA about the proposed sale. And brothel fees may increase in Nye County. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Zach Reiner. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Wednesday, September 7th, 2016. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Zach Reiner for News 46. Emergency crews responded to a rollover accident late this afternoon. A single vehicle rollover occurred this afternoon on North Highway 160 near the town of Johnny. The driver and only occupant was transported via Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue Ambulance to Desert View Hospital with what witnesses described as him bleeding from his head. How the accident occurred is being investigated by Nevada Highway Patrol. Nye County Sheriff's deputies were also on scene to attend to the patient as well as diverting traffic around the accident. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. Rebecca Oscarson from Valley Electric Association explains the proposed sale of their transmission lines. The board voted to approve the sale for $190 million last week. Valley Electric Association's board of directors at the last board meeting unanimously voted to approve the proposal to move forward with the plan to sell our 230 kilovolt transmission line. Those are the big tower lines that we're seeing um, that are east of town, right? Right. The big, tall, brown metal structures are our 230 kilovolt transmission system so they've approved for us to go ahead and sell that system the thing with these is that if you sell them you can still use them absolutely what would happen is that the company that we've been talking to there's several companies and we would maintain and operate the lines and we have a long-term contract with them so there's some good things that could happen for our membership they would see a rollback on the 9.9 .9 percent rate increase they would have long-term rate stability, there would be um, a cash premium, and uh, probably a general capital credit reimbursement. Tell me about the capital credit. What is that? That's where capital patronage is given back to the members or called, it's retired back to the members when the board has decided that we have a year that we should do that. And we have done that pretty frequently. Say for 2015, during this year, we would look and say, okay, how was our year? Was it a good year? Can we afford to retire capital credits? And if so, then the board would decide how it was given back. For example, a couple of years ago, they made a decision that it used to be first in, first out. Now they made, they've changed that so it's first in, and then some of the newer people. So I actually got a credit on my electric bill one year. But that's one of the benefits of the sale of the 230 kilovolt transmission line. The public has to really participate in this, don't you? because they won't get this credit, they won't get this discount unless we can get 12,000 people to vote yes on a ballot. Um, they have to come in here, they have to go online. What do they have to do? The vote of the membership is two-thirds or 66 percent of the membership. Not just the membership that votes, but the entire membership. We need 66 percent to vote, and it's almost 12,000 members. And the ballots will be cast in many different ways, just like a normal election. They can do it in person, dropping off a ballot here at Valley Electric Association. They can go online electronically and they'll receive a, a ballot in the mail. They can mail it in to us. So there's several ways to vote and we want to make sure that, that their wishes are heard. So please do vote. And like I said, and what you just mentioned, they won't receive the benefit of the 9.9% rate increase rollback. Mm -hmm. They won't receive the um, cash premium and they won't receive capital patronage or capital credits back if they don't vote yes. There are many benefits that will vote yes. Because you guys can't sell this line unless you get a vote from the membership um, for that 
points. 66%. That's correct. And there are benefits not only to the membership but to the cooperative. We'll be able to pay down debt, reduce operating costs, and create a new revenue source. So there's benefits for both sides, for the members and for the cooperative. And the Nye County Sheriff's Office would like to thank the public for the outpouring of love and support for Deputy Greg Curtin. Deputy Curtin was operating his agency motorcycle yesterday when he was struck by a vehicle and thrown from it. He was airlifted to a Vegas hospital shortly after the crash. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is happy to say that Deputy Curtin is sore and at home resting. Well, an increase in brothel fees and your Desert View Hospital health tip after the break.